Too bad.
that you are done in her, Lord. We just say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for strengthening her day by day. Lord, we thank you for the ministers, Lord. Lord, we ask that you continue blessed, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, as you see fit, Lord. Lord, not our will, but let your will be done. Oh, and let us be not just hearers only, but let us be doers of your word. Lord, let us walk in your word, in your ways, Lord, every day of our life. Not just someday. Lord, we want to be in your will all the time, Lord. Lord, we don't want to be taken off and put on. We want to take off the right thing and put on the right, take off the wrong thing and put on the right thing. And that is you, God. We want to put you on every day, God. Lord, we want to be a new man in you. Hallelujah. Lord, we want you to just clean us up, Lord. We know that you are the only one that can. Lord, and we thank you for this service, Lord. Lord, we ask, Lord, that you speak to us through your word, Lord. Lord, and help us to apply your word to our life. Lord, because we know that you have a word for us. Because every time we come in here, Lord, you have something for us, Lord. It's for us to grab a hold to it in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask that you would bless each and every one that's under the sound of my voice, Lord. Lord, and we're praying for the president, Lord. Lord, that you'll touch his heart and touch his mind, Lord. And help him to realize, Lord, what he needs to do to help the people in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask, Lord, that you will bless the sick everywhere. By your stripes, they are healed. Lord, we ask that you will confident and strengthen all the bereaved families all over the world, Lord. Lord, we ask that you will bless our children, Lord, wherever they may be. May be ask that you will cover them with your blood everywhere they go. Lord, ask that you will help us to be obedient to your word, God. Lord, and we thank you for this, your service, Lord. Lord, ask that you will be with us in everything that we undertake to do. Lord, and we thank you for your word that's going to go forth. Thank you for blessing the speaker to go forth in your word. And we just thanking you for all things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Justify, not just the lie. Come on. Mm-hmm. If you have a testimony, but if you ain't got one, you're good to sit in your seat. Yeah. God woke you up this morning. Yeah. And you know what? <clears throat> you didn't wake yourself. God do everything for you. You can't. I did that. You ain't did nothing. God give you the movement of your limbs. Think about what God does. And we need to give him praise and glory. You know, I've I, I really been, this song been in my heart for weeks. Mm-hmm. Folks walk in here like nothing. Like it was said, but we are standing and sitting on holy ground. We are standing. This is holy ground, y'all. This is holy ground. Come off the street, come in. I want you to come in. Sell a man, sell a woman, come in. I want you to come in. Saints, I want you to do what you know is right to do. Let your light shine. Amen. When they come in, let them see the Jesus that is in you. Amen. Let them walk, because they walk in too on holy ground. I was I was I was listening to a preacher on, on yesterday, and you know, and he was saying, he said, you know what? He talked he would talk about Moses and he said, you know what? Moses was talking to a bush. Mm-hmm. Said Moses was, he was just standing there. He, he was talking to that burning bush. And that voice came out of that burning bush. You know, I, he said, Moses was human just like everybody else. You know, I think he got a little scared too. <laughs> when he heard that voice coming out of that bush, because that bush was burning and wasn't burning up. You know, it's a lot of things in the word of God that seem to be comical, but it is so real and so true. We need to stop and think. Yeah. What would I do if I saw a burning bush? You know what I tell you what you would do? Turn around and roll. Because <laughs> that bush ain't burning up. That bush been burning for a long time. You need to get up out of there. Cause you. Let's get ready for the word of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
is wonderful. I want to encourage your heart on today. Amen. Amen. I want to encourage your heart on today. I'm coming from Matthew, the ninth chapter, and the tenth, starting at the first verse. And he entered into a ship uh, and passed over and came unto his own city. And behold, they brought to him a man sick of the palsy, laying on a bed. Mm -hmm. And Jesus, seeing their faith, now these are friends. Okay. These are friends. These are not strangers coming here trying to bring somebody to see Jesus. Come on. Said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, be of good cheer. Thy sin, thy sins, he didn't just forgive a sin, thy S-I-N-S, thy sins be forgiven thee. God is a forgiving God. And behold, certain of the scribes and said within themselves, see, you know we do that. This man blasphemed. And Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Wherefore thank ye evil in your hearts? Mm -hmm. For whether it is easier to say, Thy sin be forgiven thee, yeah. or to say, <clears throat> Arise and walk. Yeah. But that ye may know, see what it said, Jesus in red, mm -hmm. but that ye may know that the Son of Man has power yeah. on earth to forgive sins. Then Jesus, he is the sick of a palsy. Uh -huh. Arise. You know, we got to get up. Yeah. Take up thy bed and go unto thine house. Yeah. And he arose and departed to his house. Sick man, mm -hmm. sick of a palsy. Mm -hmm. Can't do nothing for himself. Somebody else got to bring him in. Can't do nothing. But the multitudes mm -hmm. saw it because the house was so full until they couldn't get through the door. They went to the roof. They had to go up to the roof. You know, and, and when we was on 420, I taught about what the, the roof in Israel was made of and what it looked like, and they could take and cut the grass and whatever, go up there, but they could take the roof off. Uh -huh. Oh, precious Jesus. They saw it, and they marveled and glorified God, which had given such power unto them. Yeah. My thought on today mm -hmm. is daring to do the impossible. Daring to do this, the impossible. Because what is impossible with you is possible with God. Thank God for his word. You know, I, I, as I was studying on this lesson, I thought about it when I first went to Israel. In Capernaum, that's Jesus' town, that's just home in Capernaum. I got a chance to pray in Capernaum with the people which was such a blessing. Jesus was there. That was his hometown. That's where Peter, mother-in-law, was raised up from a fever. I'm just so thankful that he only forgives sin, but he take care of all our healing, all our sickness, he <coughs> everything. It is going on in our body. What a mighty God we serve. Yeah. Isn't he good? Yes, he is. We have to get it right, church. Because there's nothing unclean going up. Nothing. If we will put the scriptures together, and we will go from Matthew to go over in Revelation, and we will see that if you Dirty, you stay dirty. You not just, you unjust, stay unjust. You can't get it right after he take his breath. 
You have to get it right like now while you're breathing, while you're walking, while you have your knee, while you have your beans. You have to get it right now. So if I were you, I would dare to do the impossible. What man said is impossible, it is possible with God. Because we can do all things through Christ and strengthen us. I honor God today and the ministers and each of you that is in the house. I thank God for all things. I, I thought about the scriptures. I thought about the lesson that Bishop Tate brought on last week. I thought about that. Hallelujah, what was a powerful and a good message, but we didn't, we have to come up. We have to realize, see, why you take these CDs home and you don't listen to them? You need to hear them. Hear what God is saying. Hear what God is saying to you. Not, 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 just, not to y'all, but to you. Because there's a word in, the, in there for every one of us. It was something in there for us. We need to take that because it belonged to you. We need to take it. Is that all right? Amen. Hallelujah. What did hey, that this man do? And hey, y'all, I read the scripture and we talked about this man on policy. This man on his bed, he can't do nothing. He can't get, he, he can't go nowhere unless somebody take him. You know, I wouldn't want to be in that shape. You know, I've been there. I can't go nowhere unless it's somebody take me. I can't go nowhere unless it's somebody walk with me. I can't do this unless it's somebody's right there. But I want to dare to do the impossible. Get up and move on my own. Yeah, yeah. Get up and walk on your own. Oh, yeah. If you fall down, get back up again. Yeah. Come on. It's time to do the things that you say is impossible. You can do it. Yeah. It's not hard. But you got to be obedient. Yeah. Somebody talk to me. I said, you got to be obedient. Amen. Obedient, the word of God says, is better than sacrifice. But we want to sacrifice stuff, but we don't want to be obedient. You stop doing what you're doing, you know it's wrong. Come on. It's not, it's, it's not impossible for you to stop it. It's not. It's not impossible for you to stop the things that you know is wrong. You know God don't lie. You know it's in God's word. It said, don't do it. Do not do this. Do that. Don't is used, but it's used in a different way. It's just that. It, it, it uh, uh, can't, you know. But God said, don't do certain things. But we said, we're going to try God like Adam and Eve did. Come on. You had got everything made. Hey, you with, the, you with God. You walking in the garden with God. You talking to God. You doing everything with God. Come on. And then all of a sudden, praise God, there's something else. A serpent come on and bless me to God Almighty and speak to your mind. And show you things that you act like you ain't seen before. Come on here, but you, the desire of the eyes, looking at the things that look good to you. Come on, everything look good to you ain't good for you. Amen. Quit grabbing a hold of stuff that's not good for you. Quit holding on to stuff that's not good for you. In the long run, it's gonna take you out. But where it's gonna take you to? You gotta stop and think about that. Where is what you're holding on to gonna take you to? What is that little pleasure that you got right going for you right now going to take you to? He sure ain't going to take you up because ain't no sin going to go up there. To uh, 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 adore God, Hollywood be thy name because his name is holy. Yeah. Ah. Hey, that's all right. Amen. But see, it, it, what did this man do? He acted on the word of Jesus. He told him to do what he couldn't do uh -huh. before he couldn't walk before right? Right, right god jesus told him take up your bed so he dared to do that uh -huh. at the words of our savior mm -hmm. why can't we hear what he's saying to us why can't we hear what he's saying telling us to do and go and what to do why can't we be obedient and do it why can't we trust him enough to do it mm -hmm. this man no, he couldn't walk, mm -hmm. but at Jesus' words, at the words of Jesus, he told her he did. He said, Jesus told him to do something that he couldn't do before. Now, what happened? They had at faith. Come on, let me ask you about your faith before I go into further faith. Yeah. What is faith? Faith is the substance yeah. of things what? Hold for and the evidence of things I see, you don't see it. I don't see me walking. I don't see me getting up out of this bed like that. I don't see that. 
But because Jesus told him to, he had the faith to believe, and he got up. Amen. See, when Jesus speaks, you've got to move. See, we can talk and talk and talk, and still sit down and do nothing. We got to move at God's command. That's why we're in the shape that we're in right now because we hear and don't hear. We hear and we don't act. We hear and we just sit like God ain't talking to me. But God is talking to each and every one of us. You're not too young. You're not too old. Let me tell you, God speaking, he's speaking to you. Quit pointing the finger at somebody else. God is speaking to you. The man did it. And the ones that had with him, they, they had faith. And they acted on that faith. They couldn't get through the door. If you, you read, they couldn't get through the door because of a crowd. You know, everywhere Jesus went, there came a, there was a crowd. You had to press your way through. Like the one with the issue of blood, she had to press. There's such a crowd. Hey, I want to be healed. Yeah. What did she say? I want to be healed. Yeah. I'm going to press my way. She had no business even in the midst. She didn't have no business there. But hey, I want to be healed. What is it that you want? Is there anything that you want from God? Is there anything that you want in your life that you know you got to press? What did he tell Joshua on Friday night? Be strong and of good courage. Where's your courage? Where's your strength? Where's your joy? The joy of the Lord is my strength. That's what the word of God says. Where is it? What is it that you want? See, sometimes y'all just sit here and look at me like, hey, because I got mine. I got news for you. I got mine. And I, you know, hey, God, I listen to what he said. You got to hear what God is saying. I'm trying to get you to hear what he's saying. I'm trying to get you to walk in, in faith. You got to walk in faith. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. You cannot just sit and think and look at that somebody else's faith. That ain't going to help you. It ain't going to help you. My faith is not going to help you. You got to get some faith of your own. And faith coming by hearing. What you hear? You hear what I'm saying today? I said, did you do, do you do you grab a little bit more faith? Because I said, daring, you ought to dare to do the impossible. Things that you think you can't do, can you walk out on it? Things that you think that you cannot do, can you run with it? Oh, come on. you got to get it in your mind and, and let it go into your heart that I can do this. I hear folks say, I can do this. But do they do it? My mouth, my, my mouth can speak out things that I don't do. Come on. It's a thing that we need to do. If we read the scriptures, we have to read these scriptures and apply these scriptures to our life. We have to take these scriptures and go, you know what, I, I, I know, you know when he's talking, how come folks don't come here? No, because I'm too firm, I'm too strict. Yes, I am. The word is. I bring you there before, I bring you the word of God. It ain't about me, I'm going to do. I'm going to do what the word is telling me to do. But if I'm too strict for you, you want to go somewhere where you can hang out all night, come to church on Sunday morning, smelling like booze. Come on, somebody. Come in here, full of smoke. All kind of smoke. Not just cigarette smoke, but all kind of smoke. Come on here. And you're telling me, I'm too firm, I'm too strict. No, no. I'm obedient. I am definitely going to be obedient to the word of God. It is time for you to be obedient also. Come on, somebody. I ain't here. I, I'm not sitting here, which I can't stand, but I, I hey, I'm sitting, but I ain't sitting here playing. No, you're not. It ain't no time to play because he's coming back. Did you hear what Minister K said? And you see, if you see all the fires burning, you see all the tornadoes down, you see all the storms a little bit down south from us, you see all of this and you see all of that, and we still won't get it right. We still won't get it right. You see folks molesting children. You see and you still allow them to hold and hell on your babies. You see them killing babies. Come on. All this stuff is going on in our world today. All this stuff is going on around us in our state today. In our city today. Killing every day. You going to kill somebody and then set them on fire. Act like ain't nobody going to find that bullet wound. 
Come on. But I want you to stop and think. Hey, it ain't no time to be trying to run from God. It's time to run to God because it is. It's possible. He said it. You can do it. God, this man didn't, didn't waste no time. He didn't waste no time. Take up your bed. Take up your bed. Maybe you 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 got a bed, you laid on the bed, you got something that you seem think that you cannot do. There is something in your life or something around you, something that you say, I, it's impossible. I can't do that. All things is possible. Yes, yes. With God. Yes. Your strength comes from God. Yes. Quit trying to walk in your own self-strength because you don't have enough. Right. I can't do nothing in my own strength, yes. but it's got to come from God. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Uh, not only will the man heal, but see, his sin was forgiven. Uh -huh. we, want, we, we want God to do this and do that, but we don't want to repent. We don't want, and we don't want God to forgive us for our sins because we want to stay on. Mm. Anybody here? Yeah. When you want to stay in your sin, quit running up to him for healing. Right. Because if you're in sin, you need a healing. You need a healing from your sin. And if you get the healing from your sin, the rest of it going to come because he took all of that stuff in his own self body and hung on the, on the cross. We got to come to the cross. Take up your cross and follow me. Take up your cross and follow me. What is your cross? But you got to follow him. Come on. Him. We want to do what we want to do what we want to do. We don't care what the preachers say. We don't care what the pastor say. They pass it. And I say, I don't live for the pastor. Better hear for the, what the pastor say. Amen. I think we need to hear in the ear what the pastor yeah. say. Yeah. The pastor is supposed to lead and guide you yeah. in the ways of truth yeah. through the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Through the Holy Spirit. If the pastor ain't got the Holy Ghost, they can't give you nothing in the first place. Right, what can they do? What can they give you? This scripture is holy. These words is holy. And it need to come out of a holy mouth. It don't need to come out of any old kind of mouth, which it does. Some folks just don't live nothing but stand boldly every time you turn around or every Sunday or Friday or Wednesday and, what, and de declare the word of God to you. And you just hang right on in there because I'm too strict. They best be strict because you know what? I heard the word of God say to me. Tell it. Tell them what I say. Mm -hmm. If you don't, their blood I will require at your hand. Mm -hmm. So it ain't no sense in me sitting up here trying to sugarcoat nothing for you. Come on, it ain't no sense in me standing up here trying to compromise with you because yeah. it's going to get better. Because I hear that song. It's going it to get better. Get it right now. What you mean? It's going to get better. It need, need to get better. When? Now, it don't need to get better tomorrow. You might not be here tomorrow. It needs to get better when? Right now. Do the things that you say that is impossible for you. You can't do it. Yes, you can. Y'all listen or y'all just tuning me out? I, I'm trying to figure this thing out here. I'm looking at faces. I'm just trying to see who tuning me out and who ain't. Uh, but I got news for you. Come on, somebody. You need to listen. It's not my word. I didn't do it. I didn't write it. It's not my word. This is the word of the Lord. Yeah. This is the word of the Lord. What is impossible for you today is not impossible for God because he's such a mighty God. Yeah. Yeah. He's such a mighty He can speak in everything. Turn around. He can speak everything. Boom. There it is. Hallelujah. Do you have that kind of faith to say, God said I can do it. God said I can do it. Now, hey, we don't have that kind of faith to believe that God is in us enough to do what we think that is impossible for us to do. If we start stepping out in faith like the word of God tell us to, we'll be better. Because the folks going to come and say, mm, what's going on down there? Uh, I want, and, and you're not going to be in the world and a part of the world. You're going to be in the world and not a part of the world. You're not going to do the things that the world does. See, we look at, see, it's too many church folks looking at things that folks are doing out there in the world, and here they go, booking the book, following them. 
If you're going to be of God, you got to be of God. Yeah. Come on. It's time for us to just turn everything else loose. What is out there? Hey, you've been out there all your life just about. Ever since you were big enough to hit the streets, you've been in the street. Ain't nobody in here that has not been out there in them clubs or whatever or drinking or whatever. If you didn't drink, you spoke. If you didn't, you cussed. You did some things. You did it because you, why did you do it? You was a sinner. Born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Anybody here? Amen. Mm. Children of God, sometimes the word of God come tough. I ain't here to preach at you. I'm here to tell you what he said. Take up your bed. Come on. Do the things that you can't do. I, 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 I can't. I go, I do. I do the things that I, I, I know it hurts to do. It hurts to do it. But I get up and do it anyway. I get up and go walk in faith. I walk in faith. Praise be God Almighty because without my faith and without faith and without me acting on that faith, it ain't. I got to act on it. Anybody here? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Faith is an act. Do you know that? We talked about that. Faith is action. Why do I got faith? Faith is action. You got to act on your faith. Praise God. Hallelujah. Faith is an action to believe on. The world is. The word is to act on the word. You got to act on it. The word of God says. You can read it mm -hmm. out loud. You can read it and don't move. You can read it and hear what it said. So, well, maybe I need to get up and do it. Don't know maybe about it. Get up. If it told you to do it, get up. Amen. In, 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 in the 24th chapter of Matthew, there's things in that, that said, don't do. 24 and 25, don't do. Praise God. Or do. If you hear, don't, and don't go back there. Oh, come on. He's coming. He is coming, and he's coming back for his bride. I want to be a clean bride that he's looking forward to coming back to get. I want to be that bride that God is going to come back and tell me, well done. Yeah. <clears throat> married to me. Yes, he is. And I'm married to him. Amen. Praise God. I'm happy with my husband. Amen. I don't know about nobody else, but I am happy with my husband. Yeah. Yeah. He treats me well. Yeah. He loves me. And I love him, and I will not cheat on him. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Lord. Ain't God good? Yeah. So, we'll say this again. Faith is an act to believe on mm -hmm. the word. The word is, if you believe on the word, you need to act on the word. Is that right? If the word tells you to do something, why are you going to go do the opposite in other than what God tells you to do? Because faith without works is what? Yeah. To say you believe and not act on it is dead. Believe, believers, it shows you if you don't act on that, you got what kind of faith? Dead faith. It's dead. Faith without what is dead. So I'm telling anybody in here. Do y'all know them scriptures? Amen. You do. You do. You do. You do. You do. Amen. You do. Help me out. Help me out. I ain't been teaching for 26 years and you don't know. Come on. I, I've been teaching the word of God for that long. Yeah. Almost 27 years. Come on. Hey, I know you know the scriptures. Amen. I know you know that faith coming by hearing. I know that you know that faith without works is dead. Yeah. If you don't do nothing, you, your faith ain't telling you. you, you come, on, come on, faith is what moves us. Yeah. Faith is what make me go. Yeah. Faith. I got to get up. I got church today. Yeah. Lay down a little while longer. No, 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 get yourself up. Mm -hmm. Come on, get up 
Get into the house of God. Because you don't know what God has for you in that house. Amen. Oh, I just need to lay down a little bit long. No, you don't. Get yourself up. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Uh, praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. James 2 and 17. Even though faith, if it has not worked, mm -hmm. is dead. Yeah. Being alone. Uh -huh. Hey, it, it, it's, it come together. Yeah. Being mm -hmm. alone. Uh, verse 20 said, but will thou, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? Verse 26 said, for as the body without the spirit is dead, uh -huh. so faith without work is dead also. Uh -huh. mm. Your body needs the spirit of God. Yeah. Yeah. My body has to have the spirit of God. It's dead. It ain't about nothing. Run around here in the street. Run around here out there. Here, there, and everywhere. And don't have God in your life. It's not about nothing. Come on, baby. You know, as I as I study, as I read, as I as I meditate on the word of God, I meditate from Genesis all the way. I go through 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 the scriptures. I go through the Bible. There is something in every book that I need to pick out. There's something in every book that I need to know. And basically, I think about Genesis because it was the beginning. In the beginning, God did the creating. Man did not. Everything God made was good. And not only was it good, it was very good. We have to stop and think. If you go and you read these scriptures, even though Bishop brought us about Joseph, he, he was a, a big mouth, he said. Joseph was a big mouth. God tell him something he's going to tell him. Mm -hmm. Come on. We ought to be big mouth. Okay. Quit getting fear. Somebody tell you, God tell you something, you ought to tell him. God said, y'all yeah. going to bow down to me. Come on. God said it. Why are you not hear it? Why are you not grab a hold to that? Because it definitely, if God said it, Brother Chris, it's going to come to pass. If you believe it, receive it. Because it's definitely going to come to pass. Nothing that God says is going to lay dormant. Nothing that God says that he's going to do, no promises that God made us, is going to go void. No, what he sent his word out to do, it will not come back void. Thank you for the word of God, God. Thank you for your sweet word that keeps me day. I shut up, come on the echo. Keeps me day by day. Keeps me moving. Keeps me going. The word of God. What is impossible with man? It, 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 hey, it is not impossible with God. Amen. Amen. Dare to do the impossible that you think, a man think that it is impossible. There's nothing impossible with God. Children of God, it is a day. This is the day. This is the day. It's a new day to you. You never saw this day before. This is a, a new day. But this right now is your now faith in this day. It's not, it, 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 you don't have a faith for 1 o'clock or 12.45. It's the faith for right now, 12.40. Uh -huh. Right now, when this, when that hand moved, you, yesterday, uh -huh. it was a past faith. But right now, you can't go back there and get that. Okay. It's right now. Faith is right now. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. You know, I must be talking too much. I ain't even, I ain't, I ain't even got at past the first page yet. Too much stuff to be said. Come on here. Praise God. Hallelujah. See, you write this stuff down, but you write it down, but God give you other stuff to say. When you get into the house of God, you forget. Lord, have mercy. Glory. Ain't God good? Yeah. Matthew 9 and 2. That, 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 that our verse says, Matthew 9 and 2, and what did it say? That it said, and behold, they brought to him a man sick of their palsies. Mm. 
-hmm. And said Jesus seeing their faith. Uh -huh. He saw he seeing, he saw their faith. They couldn't get in the house, so he saw their faith. What they do? They had to go up on the roof. Yes. What made Jesus see their faith? It was the action. Come on, it was the action. He see your faith by what you do, by where you move, how you move. Hallelujah. Jesus saw their faith. Are we looking? Yeah. He said <clears throat> in Mark mm -hmm. 6, mm -hmm. these signs shall follow, shall follow them that believe. Mm -hmm. Let's change belief to follow them that act. Let's just say instead of saying believe, these signs shall follow them that yes. act. On what they believe. Anybody hearing me? Y'all some dead peoples, but that's okay. I love all dead folks. Hallelujah. Y'all tired. Y'all must have had a hard night last night. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, yeah. If you act on the word, nothing shall be impossible. I say again, if you act on the word, nothing shall be impossible. Say to me. Say to me. To me. Say to me. Ain't nobody in here, huh? I said, say to me. To me. To me. Nothing is impossible. Hallelujah. I didn't ask you to say that. I read that. I read that. I said, and they said, nothing is impossible to you. And I said, I ask you to say, to me. To me. Too late. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 He who acts on the word has present tense. Whatsoever you desire, Mark said in 11.24, you can have whatsoever you desire. What? Where's where's our desire? Where is the desire that we ought to have? Where is it? You know, God is God. God said, "I'm the same. I'm I'm the same God today as I was in Abraham days. I'm the same God today that I've been that that you taught about in Joshua days." I'm the same God that led Moses and the children of Israel across the Red Sea. I'm that same God today as I was then. I have not changed. I will not change. But then I'm coming soon. And I'm coming soon. Children of God, all I'm trying to do is help you. Make it into Jesus. See his face in peace. See his face in peace. Out there, Radio Land, when y'all hear me, I'm, I'm, I, I give you just what I give them. Radio Land and TV Land, I don't, I don't change the word of God for y'all out there. I give you the same thing that I give the peoples here in full gospel. Amen. I cannot go changing the word of God. God's word is truth. God's word is the same yesterday and today and forever it will be. Anybody here? Amen. Some of the greatest men and women of the Old Testament never gave much thought about having faith. But when we look back on them in the faith chapter of Hebrew, Hebrew 11, when we look back on these men and these women of God, it refers to them as a mighty example of faith. It's an example. I mean, if you read that faith chapter today and, and read about them, oh, God, and what they went through. Uh, I thank God for faith. Faith is what you got to move in every day. Every day, every day. God is, is awesome, isn't he? They are mighty. It refers to them as mighty examples of faith. They didn't 
worry like folks do today, because worry is sin. Yeah. They, they didn't worry about how to have faith. They simply heard God speak. But we, we can hear God. We say, you know, I hear this all the time. I know God's voice. I hear God. I heard God. Yeah, I do too. I know God's voice when I speak it out and he's talking to me. When I read this word out loud and he's talking to me, I sure know his voice because I say, you said that to me. You're talking to me. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You take that word and move on it. You take that word. And hey, you take this word. And when he told me, when he said to this man, take up thy bed, he talking to you. He talking to me. Take up your bed. Quit laying down there grumbling and murmuring. Quit laying down there complaining about this, that, and the other. Quit complaining about the things that you ought not to be complaining about. Turn it over to God and let God handle it. Give it to God. We want to go and talk to it. To, to, thing, to our neighbors or to our sisters and to our brothers. But hey, what about God? He's the one that can take care of the business. I can't help you. I can give you what thus said the Lord, but I can't do it, but God can. Yeah. And, and then we want God to come and sit in our lap and, and pat us on the back and all this stuff. Now he ain't doing it. He done gave you what you need. He gave you the Holy Bible, what you need. And that's what we need to do the impossible. We need the word of God to do the word of God. We got to do the word of God. Quit. Just be a doer. Be a doer. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's been a long, 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 long time since it's been this quiet in here. It has been. It's been a long time. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad y'all jumped up and shouted last week. Hallelujah. <laughs> y'all ain't doing that this week. <laughs> But it's okay. Hey, it's okay. Thank you. Somebody say thank you. Thank you. All right, here we go again. How do you know that Noah believed? How do you know that? That's, that's, a, that's, that's a question. Because he started acting as though God had told him the truth. What about us? How do we know? How I know you believe? What I'm saying. How do I know that you believe that? I know that because you start Amen. acting like you believe. You get up and you do what you what was told for you to do. You act like you believe. Act on your belief. Is that okay? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. How do we know that God told you the truth? God don't lie, right? That's how I know he told me the truth, because he's the truth guy. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the lie. So he don't lie, right? So what he said to me, it was the truth. It's up to me to accept that truth. Anybody here? Amen. Noah believed that God was telling him the truth, and he got up and started building the ark. He didn't fool around. He didn't wait till next year. He didn't wait till next month to do what God told him to do. How do I know that Joshua believed? And the folks who followed him, they started marching. They started marching. When God told them, they did what God told them to do. They, they believed what he said. They believed him. They didn't, they didn't just sit down and say, well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if that wall will come down or not. I ain't going. I ain't going. I, I was telling somebody, I said, you know what? I, I don't think that there was black folks that was marching around that wall. In fact, I know what. Because I later got tired of sitting right down. Later got tired. I said, oh, oh, that's too much walking for me. I can't deal with that. But with the Israelites and with Joshua as their leader, Moses minister, God told him to do something. And what did he do? He did it. And the folks who followed him, they start marching around the wall of Jericho. How do you know that Jehoshaphat and his army believed? Huh. They began to sing and shout with joy. If you read the stories, you know. You know that they began to sing praises unto the Lord and shout for joy. Hey, when they did, when Joshua did what God told him to do, the wall came tumbling. Hey, you got to get up and do what seemed to be impossible. 
to you. But you've got to do it. Get up because it ain't nothing impossible. You can do it. Oh, God, you can do it. I'm trying to help you here. Because I know me, I can do it. I could tell, my, tell myself all the time, get in there and cook you some food. You can do it. Get in there and wash them dishes. You can do it. I ain't, I ain't got to the vacuuming yet. But get in there. I'm, I'm going to get there. I tell myself you can do it. Hallelujah. You got to do what you think you cannot do. Move in your faith. Hallelujah. Isn't God good? Jehoshaphat, they, this army began to believe. And they began to sing and they began to shout with joy. They acted as though God had told them the truth. What about us? What about you in this house? Will you act on what God said? He's a truth for God. He don't lie. And you ain't going to even tarry if you lie. He said you're going to keep on going. You ain't going to tarry in this sight. Come on, somebody. Ah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Ain't God good? Yes, he is. You act got to act like God told the truth. And how do you act like God told tell you the truth? Because you move. You get up and you move. How do I know that the man with the apostles believed? How do you know that this man in the ninth chapter here of, of Matthew believed? Because he got up. When God told him, when Jesus told him, take up your bed. Hey, he didn't fool around. He didn't fool around, and, and he, told, he said, not only are you here, but your sins is forgiven you. Sometimes we got to get our sins forgiven so that we can get up and move. Yeah. I ain't no sin. I ain't seen yesterday. He probably seen yesterday. <laughs> probably seen last night. Did some. Hallelujah. Don't ever say what you ain't. Hey, hey, hey. Right. I, that's why I ask God, whatever I've done, whatever I thought, because I might have had a thought that wasn't right. Whatever, whatever. Hey, forgive me. Forgive me. Clean me. Cleanse me. Create in me a clean, I want a clean heart. Because I don't know, maybe I looked at somebody the wrong way. Maybe I said something that hurt somebody's feeling. God, please, if I did, I want to apologize to them. But God, forgive me. You cannot be forgiven if you don't forgive. Help me, Jesus. A lot of times we need to say, help me, Jesus. Hey, that man, how do we know that that man would possibly believe? When he heard Jesus say, arise. And sometimes we would say, now get up, arise. Arise, hallelujah. Take up thy bed and walk. And he acted as though he could walk. Whether you know what the legs were moving before, but he acted as though he could walk and found out that he was healed and he could walk. If you don't, if you don't move, you will never know that you can. If you don't get up, you'll never know that you can stand. Come on. You got to act like that Jesus told you the truth. You got to act like the word of God is your life. See, that is. That's your sword. That's your life. That's your everything. Without the word of God, you ain't nothing. I ain't nothing. Ain't nobody nothing. The word is truth and the word is life. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Ah, somebody should have shouted on that one. Dare to do the impossible. Dare to do what the devil and circumstances. Yeah, you got a lot of them. Say you can't do. Because he'll come and tell you, you know you can't do that. Some are free. But are you really free? Are you really delivered? You know, when, when when you get saved, everything that you've done in your lifetime, God forgive you for all the sins that you have done. He forgive you for sins, not a sin, but he forgive you for sins. And see, after you've been saved, then you need to forgive, be forgiven for that sin that you did last night. That one that you did last night, you need to be forgiven for, because God has already washed all your sins away, but then when you feel like you can go back in it, no, uh-uh, you can't do that. But see, the one thing I want the church to understand, once you've been forgiven for your sin, that don't mean that you're delivered from all the things that you, that is there. You've got to be delivered. That's why a lot of folks, they, 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 they have repented of their sin, and they still smoke. 
You got to be delivered from that. You got to be delivered from that. You been, you, been, you say, God forgive you. He washed away your sins. He threw them into the sea of forgiveness. You still mine. That's, that's, you need deliverance from that. That's a spirit. You need deliverance from those spirits. Glory to God. Anybody here? Amen. I'm teaching better than y'all. Receiving, I don't know. I'll find that out later. Hallelujah. Dare yeah, to do the impossible because you can do. You can do it with through Christ. You can do it through Christ. I can do all things through Christ. What is that? That strengthens me. If Christ don't strengthen you, you're not going to be able to do it. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Yeah, dare to do the impossible when that devil in the circumstances that he bring upon you. Hey, because he's going to bring them every day. He's going to bring something before you every day. And, and you think, I, I got it. I got this. And I'm, I'm, you think you're going out that door and you're going to be free. No, you ain't. All right, Bishop. Be right there. Hallelujah. You know, some folks are free, but they, they're not enjoying that freedom that they have. They're not enjoying their deliverance. you got to be delivered from certain things. I want to enjoy my life. I want to be free to the point where I can enjoy Jesus. Yeah. I want to be free to the point that I can enjoy the things that God has given me and walk in the way that God has told me to walk and be able without any fear, without any animosity to tell somebody or talk to somebody about God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. As I get ready to wind up, thousands sit looking for deliverance. And they're sad. You see a lot of sad faces. Sitting up in the church house. They so sad. Mm -hmm. and, and God don't, he didn't give you that. No. You ought to have the joy of the Lord. If you got him, you ought to have the joy of the Lord. Don't be what you're sad about. You better brush that devil off and let him go. Yeah. You better tell him where to go. I heard Sister Wednesday said in the morning, he's under my feet. Where he's at, he's under my feet, not over my head. Come on here. He is under my feet. You got to put the devil where he's supposed to be. Where? Trump on him. Under your feet. Quit letting them roll. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. See, what Jesus did, when Jesus came, he broke the power of Satan. But we give Satan the, 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 uh, whatever it is that he needs to harass us. Come on. He, 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 Jesus, he's in you. He can't get in you, but he will harass you to no end. Let me say this to you. The collar is loose. I want you to understand the collar is loose. You know, you put a collar around the dog. Yeah. And you know, and then sometimes that dog can't go nowhere. And they get this little thing that that dog can't go nowhere. But in his yard, he got so far that he go. And then when he, when, when, but he get used to that. And he don't go no further. He know his boundaries. Yeah. But I want to tell you today that your collar is loose. You just don't realize it. <laughs> Can I say that again? Your collar that was holding you back from doing or going is loose. Hallelujah. It's not tightening around your neck. It don't mean that you can't go out the gate. It don't mean that you can't go live here and go there anymore. It don't mean because, see, you have been loose. Your collar is loose. Hallelujah. He came to destroy the works of the devil. That's what Jesus came to do. And he did that. All you have to do is test that collar. Test the collar. See, the dog talks good because, you see, it's a little shock thing go through if they go past their boundaries. Do the impossible. You can do it. Your collar is loose. You can go past the boundaries that were set for you. You can go beyond what you expect to do. You put your own self down. Ain't nobody else pulling you down. You putting your own self down. Check that collar. That collar has been loose. Move in God. Y'all hear me? Move in God. All you have to do is test the collar. Thou art loose. It's loose. You got to test the collar. And if you don't test the collar, you'll still be bound right there where you're at. All right? 
dare to act like it. Dare to act like that college loser. I dare you to act like that college loser. Take off. Hallelujah, somebody. Take that one step, which seems impossible, and discover with God that all things are possible. Mark 22 and 27. And as I close, his living words is this. Rise. That collar is, is loose. Rise. Take up thy bed and walk. It's time for us to walk. It's time for us to check the collar. Time for us to do what it is that seem impossible for us. Thank you, Lord. God is awesome. God is good. Nobody like him nowhere. Trust him. Trust him. Hallelujah, Jesus. Whether anybody come in here to fellowship with this ministry, it's all right. Because I am going to always be and do what it is that God has called to me to do. And that is to declare the word to you. Spirit and in truth. If we don't get it right, it won't be my fault. That's the one thing that I, I don't want the blood on me. Your blood. I don't want it on me. The God that we serve is mighty. Yeah. Young folks need Jesus in their life. You don't need no boyfriend at this young age. You need Jesus. You don't need to be running behind a person that is going to use you. And when they get what they want, they're going to drop you. Don't be, young ladies, don't run behind no boys. Don't do it. It's not a good thing. Young men, you need to keep it still. Too young to be going out getting babies. Don't know what to do because you are a baby. It's just time for us to be in God and God in us. Get saved. And then God, and read the word of God. When we get our life situated with God, we need to read his word and know what he's saying to us. I'm not here to try to make you receive Jesus Christ, but I'm here to tell you that you can. You can, you can do it. You can repent of your sin. Anybody here that has never are not repented of their sin. You can repent, ask God to forgive you for your sin. And he is faithful. And he is just. And he will forgive you because he loves you. That's what he came to this earth to do. Forgive sin. He came here to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. He came here to give us what we need. We are a people that need Jesus. Ain't nobody in this house today that don't need him. Amen. Nobody. If you already have received the Lord as your Savior, there's always more. Go deeper in here. Move in your faith. You know, I sense this. When I go, this is holy ground wherever my feet tread. Hey. The ground that God did. The ground that God created us from. Reached down. He went down. 
and he formed man out of the dust of the earth. Hmm. And then what did he do? And then he stooped down again. After he formed this man that he loved us so much. And then he stooped down again, down, down. And then he breathed mm. into man's nostril. And then that's how man became a living soul. Because God stooped down, went down, and breathed into his nostril. Y'all, get it right. Get it right. Oh, God. Lord, I love you. I praise you. I glorify you. Anybody, whatever you need from God today, just come and stand down the front. And God is a faithful God that Access Vision, your voice, your community.